I uh, I come from the private sector, but uh, I had a small stint with the Commonwealth Games, so that's also my uh, uh, little bit of exposure to the government. So I've been lucky that way that I have seen both sides of the table, uh, the private sector as well as the life uh, in a government setup. Uh, it's it is really heartening to hear all the uh, all the members out here, the speakers out here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ravi Sankar, he talked about setting up a large-scale national optical network. He, uh, he talked about uh, creating a massive network through, uh, so, that, uh, so that all the services that we talk about, all the applications that we talk about, how do we take it to rural India. So that's a huge, huge exercise that he was talking about. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Kantarao, he talked about uh, setting up electronic service delivery. He talked about mission mode uh, projects. Uh, and that's some of the applications that he talked about, amazing applications, and uh, the kind of reach and the scale that uh, any government project can actually have is amazing. I mean, you you uh, actually creating an application which can actually reach out to every citizen of this country. Uh, then we also heard about uh, good governance uh, that Bihar is seeing for the last five, six years, and that's actually showing results. I mean, uh, IT being used a large extent, I mean, a lot of the Work. He talked about a term called, so we heard about the P files, which was the physical files. Moving from the P files to an E file is a huge, huge progress. Uh, then we also heard about uh, the uh, lot of initiatives being taken by uh, the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances. Uh, all the applications, all the, all the infrastructure that we are talking about, whether it is telecom, like huge telecom and network infrastructure, whether it's about uh, the software applications that you talk about, uh, the kind of kind of scale that uh, uh, the kind of scale and the reach that we're talking about, that's uh, beautiful. And uh, what we have also seen in India, a lot of these projects are on a private-public partnership. So that's the public-private uh, partnership is very uh, interesting because what you're doing is that. Uh, so you have you have the constraints in terms of economic sustainability, whether it is social sustainability, the political sustainability. All these three things are being taken care of by the government. The other part, which is a te technological sustainability, that's one bit which the private players bring in. They bring in pretty efficiently. So the process of the government and the efficiency of the private sector. The moment you put all of that together, it becomes very interesting. So, 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 so that's uh, this thing. I, uh, uh, my boss who was an IS officer. He told me about a very beautiful thing that happened uh, in Maharashtra. He told that there was a file. I mean, for me, it was very uh, interesting because uh, coming from the private sector, I had never seen this uh, physical files. So we had green uh, notes on the left and the uh, communication uh, on the right hand side. See, he he talked about a file which basically said approved. Then what happened was there was a change in decision, which happened on this physical file. So he put it as not approved. So, so that was the thing that he could do that. No, not him. He was talking about some other uh, minister in Maharashtra. Then later, he again changed his mind. So what he did was he said noted and approved. So he could do that uh, without any accountability by just changing these three states, approved, not approved and noted and approved. But when you talk about e-governance, everything that you do, it's, it's uh, every single thing. What you are doing is you are creating transparency in that entire system. So whether it is a document management system, whether it's a workflow automation that you do in, an, in a department. So what you are actually bringing in is accountability. Every single thing, every single transaction that happens, whether a file moves from point A to point B to point C, you are actually creating a trail of trail of events. So, th so that's something that uh, uh, an electronic way of doing things actually uh, helps you in terms of building that. Um, so uh, so my, my uh, thought, so I'm not going to take much time, all that I'm seeing, the, the kind of transformation which is happening in India last 10, 15, 20 years, it's all moving from uh, physical documents, from physical world, you are uh, moving to electronic world. Similarly, from a so uh, and even the challenges which are related to it in terms of broadband, in terms of I, uh, internet, in terms of all the physical infrastructure, networking, telecommunication, all of that is being taken care. You are getting, you uh, we had reached from uh, from from uh, national level to a state. Then we moved to the district, then to the blocks. Now we're moving up to the villages. 
it's beautiful because the all kind of uh, applications that we actually talk about whether it is in in uh, education or in the sector of retail or healthcare all the three things which basically re, uh, touch each and every life in india uh, every citizen in india so uh, uh, there are huge opportunities in terms of supply chain management so we have food grains actually rotting in the warehouses can there be can there be applications can there be uh, a full solution to uh, look at that so there are opportunities in each and every aspect uh, fdis rt we talked about all of that all the health healthcare projects i i so so i would uh, urge everyone to look at all innovative stuff collaborate with the government departments look at all the all the national and the state level initiatives which have been taken and probably marriage the opportunities that exist and the solutions that uh, the private sector can provide yeah so uh, thank you thank you thank you so 